Greetings all. Welcome to another session here of Tuesday Talks. Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Visual Studio. For those of you who are beginning to learn about C++, I recognize that some of you, this environment is new to you, and the fact that you're taking a course online just means that you're brave or crazy. I don't know which. In any event, I want to give you some help so that you can understand how to use this software a little bit better. I do recommend that if you're new to Visual Studio, you go out and find a tutorial so that you can learn all the different features that are available here. For now, we're just going to run over to our course, and you can see this is our course right here. And all of you should be able to find the place here called Course Content. And what I'd like you to do is just click on that, and we'll move in and start looking at some of the things that we can do uh, with a Visual Studio. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to understand is that there are, are some instructions here under these course guides and assignments. And right in here under uh, assignment instructions, you also can click there so we can go in and look at some instructions. Every program that you create for here is going to in, is going to require you to understand and read the assignment instructions here, as well as the lab submittal instructions. Please make sure that you avail yourself to this information so that you can understand how you're supposed to submit all of your work. Now, these instructions indicate that you're supposed to take this template and put it into every file that you create. There's also some other instructions in here regarding how to paste uh, information into a document as well as a screen capture into a Word document for verification purposes. So uh, this is what this would look like. Now, before we jump into any of this, I think we should uh, take a moment and jump into Microsoft Visual uh, Studio. If you've never downloaded this software before, you'll need to go to a place just uh, open up a browser and go to download uh, Visual Studio 2019, and it's the community version. It is free, so you simply come here and you download, do the free download that's right here. Click on that, and then you'll be able to download the software for free. Now, I've already done this, and I've installed it, and there's another video to explain what you'll need to include for the installation. Uh, so you can go look at that later. After you have it installed, of course, you'll be able to... Um, in uh, set up and run things. So let's go in. Here's my Visual Studio. I already have it set up here. So I'm going to open this up and try to start my first program. So I'm just going to create a new project. And I'm going to start. I'm just going to click C++ here so that it gives me some details. And I'm just going to run a regular console app is all I'm going to be running. So I'm going to be selecting this one right here. All right. And then I can start. I'll be able to click on that. Click next. And I can give it a name. I can call this, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this uh, Apple Pie just for the fun of it. All right. Do me a favor. Don't put any spaces in your name. You may if you want, but you don't want to do that. Take note where the files are being stored. Now you can store these files anywhere you want. The default location, though, is there, so you want to make sure where you're storing them so you can get to them later. So, okay, again, this is, for me, it's going to be uh, users to the source repos. That's where I'm going to be looking for it. Now I'm going to click Create. Okay, so I'm going to come down here, I'm going to click Create, and then we're done. That's all you need to do. Take a little time for this uh, application and environment to open up and get installed. All right, so there it is, and it's got some information in here that we're going to get rid of. I really don't need this. I'm just going to blow this away just for the fun of it, so we'll delete all of that. You should understand a little bit about this environment, which is why I suggest you go and take a tutorial on uh, on this. You can see that you've got some solution information over here. You've got properties down here. You've got an output console at the bottom, and of course, your program goes here. Now, for every program you do, I recommend you go to your browser, or not to your browser, go to the instruction set and you copy this template. I'm going to take this information and I'm just going to copy it into the template. I'll copy that and I'll go back to my program and I'll just paste it. All right, so all of your programs are going to begin by copying that template in here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your name in here. Make sure you replace this with your name. Your name, no, your actual name, that's that one. I think. So for me, it would be this, right? And then the lab number. I don't know if it's lab number 
Uh, let's just call this lab number 36. That's all well and good. Okay, I can do that. So then the you do the rest of your program, whatever it may be. And so just for me, I'm going to have a little fun here, and I'm going to type in another message here that says, I love apple pie. And just to let you know, I really don't. But uh, for this purpose, I'm just showing you that, you know, that I can do this. So let's just say I've written out my program and uh, I want to save it. Okay, so what I'll do here is I can go in and save everything. And now it's all saved. Now I can run the program right here where we have the local debugger window. I can just click right on that and then it will open up another console and it'll run the program. Give it a little time, give it a little time, and there's my window. Bing. Okay, so the important thing is that right here, I should take a picture of this window only. Only take a picture of the console window, this one right here. Don't take a picture of your entire desktop. Don't take a picture of the IDE, which is Visual Studios itself. Only grab us, do a screen capture of the actual console. Okay, and when you're done, um, you can, the window will close. Okay, if you know it works fine, again, you can save all, and then you could literally leave this program. This program is now created. Yay. So now I'm going to close and uh, exit Visual Studios. All right, so now I've created the program. All right, I've created the program, but now where is it? So what I need to do now is go find that program and follow the instructions here, which basically says zip up the file you created, okay, and upload it to Blackboard. So what we'll want to do is let's uh, minimize this and we'll open up our file explorer and go look for Apple Pie. And you'll notice, again, I'm in the right place right now. I went into local hard drive, users, and my name, and source, and repos. And there's a file called Apple Pie. You see it right there, yes? That's the one we just created. Since we just created it now, I can go right-click on this. And when I right-click, I have something here that says Send To. And then I have Decompress, I'm sorry, Compression File. So I've got a compress right here that I can use. And that's what I want to use. I want to, I want to go here and then click on Compress. It's going to take Apple Pie and then make a zip out of it. Okay, so you see the little zipper that's right here, right? Let me just show you what's inside. We'll look at the original. In the original, I have this SLN file, which is the solution file, okay? And then I have an actual folder called Apple Pie. And in here I have, here's my actual code. My actual code is in the C++ file, but I also have project information, filter information, and user information. <clears throat> when you go to zip this up, You'll zip up the main folder where everything is located, okay? Now that this is zipped up, this I can now copy and upload. It's one of the two things I need to upload to, um, to Blackboard to complete my assignment. The other thing I need to do is to write up the honor statement and put my screen capture in a Word document, which I'm not going to cover here. <clears throat> so I hope you understand all the things that I've tried to cover today. Um, I've tried to explain to you how to use Visual Studio to create an application every time, where to save it, and how to zip it up so that you can upload it to uh, the course website. If you do have other questions, again, I recommend go look at a tutorial online. Of course, you can always contact me or others in the course. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you on the boards. Bye-bye now.